Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to extract the numeric part or the text part from a string in Excel. So here I have these four sentences. These four sentences have the text characters as well as the numeric characters. And here I would extract the numeric part as well as the text part. Now to do this you need to be using Excel 2016 because there is a new function in 2016 which is the text join function and if you're using prior versions you will not have access to this function and in that case I'll show you how to use VBA to do this but if you're using Excel 2016 then you can use this function. Now it will be a little complex function so let me create that function and explain every part of it. The first part of the function is indirect function. So here I would construct this function. Oops. And let's see what this function would return. So what I've done is indirect one colon and then I have used the length of this string. And if I select this and press F9, it returns 19. This means that this indirect function would refer to 1 colon 19 that is row number 1 to row number 19. If I press F9 you can see it refers to indirect 1 colon 19. And now when I add the row function here and now I select this entire formula and press F9 you can see it gives me an array of numbers which is 1 to 19 where 19 is the length of this characters which means that it will change for each of these text e these sentences now let me press ctrl z to go back now with this row formula i would use the mid function and mid function gives me the specified number of characters so in this case i want to use this sentence this text here and I want the start number to be this array which means I want the start number first to be 1 then to be 2 then to be 3 up to 19 and I want to extract only one character every time so when I select this function and press F9 it will give me all these characters separately so you can see I have T then H then E then a space then C O S T all these characters are here but now I can analyze these characters separately let me press Control Z and now with this mid function all I need to do is I need to check whether it's a text or a number so what I would do is I would come here and I would multiply this by 1 and see what happens now when I select this entire thing and press F9 it gives me value error wherever there is a text character but if it is a number it will give me that number so you can see that the last three characters are 1 0 0 but everything else is a, a value error so what I can do is I would come here and I would say if error and if error if this is the value and if you find an error return a blank else return the character so what this would do is if I select this entire formula and press F9 you can see it removes all the text characters because those were returning value errors and it keeps those numbers because these numbers were not giving me the error now all I need to do is use the use the text join function here so oops in text join function it takes three characters the first one is a delimiter so the delimiter here would be blank I don't want any delimiter the second one here would be true because I don't want to consider empty cells here so this would be true and the third here would be this array which I want to combine which I want to join and now when I press Control shift enter it gives me the numeric part and if I copy it for all these cells it will give me the number for all these sentences all these text strings and you can see it has extracted only the numeric part remember to use control shift enter if you just shift uh, use enter it will not give you the right result you will have to use control shift enter because the mid function here is giving us an array and because it's an array you need to use control shift enter now another thing you need to know is that it will combine all the numerals all the numbers and put it together so for example if I come here and I say uh, the ticket price of 10 tickets is USD 25 and I press enter here you can see it will give me 10 and 
25 these numbers together because it extracts these numbers and joins these numbers so let me press Control z it makes sense to use this formula only if you have one instance of the number or when you are fine by having all these numbers combined it's just a limitation that you need to know now when we come to the text part of this function i'll copy this entire mid function and for text part we'll have to modify this function a bit so in this case this entire part of the formula would give us value errors whenever there is uh, a text character and uh, a number when there is uh, the number here so let me press Control z and what i would do here is i would use this with is error function so what is error would do is it would convert these into uh, trues and falses if i press f9 you can see whenever there is a text character it returns true but whenever there is a number it gives me false so i press Control z and now i would use this with an if formula if there is a true give me the value and if it is a false then i will give blank so with in this if formula i would simply use the same mid function so if there is a true give me the character from this and if it is false then give me blank and now let's see what happens if i select this entire formula and press f9 it gives me the text characters but in case of the numbers it will give me blank now i'll press Control z and here i'll come and i'll use the text join function the delimiter would be blank this would be true and now when i press Control shift enter it gives me the text part here so you can see it gives me the cost of uh, cost is usd and the number doesn't appear so in case you want to extract the text part you can use this function if you want to extract the numeric part you can use this part now if you're using excel 2013 or prior versions, then you will not have the text join function in that case you can use a simple vba code to do this so let me duplicate this sheet and i'll remove these formulas what i'll do here is i would create two formulas one to get the numeric part and one to get the text part so to let's first create the numeric one i would go to the developer tab and here i would go to visual basic you can also use the keyboard shortcut alt f11 and here you can see I have this project explorer where I have all these objects since I have two sheets those two sheets are open here what I need to do is right click on any of these objects go to insert and insert a module and in this module code window we will have to write the function so the code here would be function and let's call the function get numeric and it will only take one argument which would be the cell reference so let's call it cell ref as string and this would be the argument which is this cell and the contents of this cell now let's create this function the first thing i would say is dim string length as integer the second thing i would do is string length oops is equal to len of cell ref so this string length would now have the number of characters in each cell so if i refer to this cell then it will give me 19 because that is the number of characters in this cell and now i would use a simple for loop and i would say for i is equal to 1 to string length if is numeric and is numeric is uh, a function that will tell us if uh, a character is numeric or not and i would say mid cell ref and start number would be i and i only want one character here and if this is the case then result is equal to result and the same thing which is i can copy this part instead of typing it again i can simply copy it here and i'll explain what each of these steps does and then i can say next i and then i can come here and i can say get numeric is equal to which is the value that the function the final output should get would be the value of result 
Now in this case, you can also uh, come and initialize uh, these characters, which is let's say dim i as integer dim result as maybe long or maybe you can come here and you can say string or if it's numeral you can uh, say uh, numeric but I would not use anything because I'll leave it as it is now let's see how this function would work this is the function let me quickly first go through this function what it does is it will first get the length of the text here in this cell once it has the length it will uh, use the for loop for as many characters as many characters are here so in this case since there are 19 characters this loop for go for 19 times and every time it will analyze each of these characters one by one so first time it will analyze t and when it analyzes t it will see that t is not numeric so is numeric would be false and then nothing would happen it will go to the next one which would be then h and when it comes here to the third last one which is one it will say yes this is a numeric character so it will simply add it to the result and when it comes to zero it will add be added to the result so it would be one then zero then zero and then finally the value of the result which would be hundred would be transferred to get numeric so let's let's see how it works I would come here and now I can use this function you'll see that it appears here there would be no IntelliSense you will have no no uh, help here in this case but since we are only using one cell reference one argument we know it will be this one and now when I hit enter oops so I need to define this variable what I'll do is I would say the reason I need to do this is because I've used option explicit here so one thing I can do here is if I don't want to define it maybe I can so dim result as long and one thing I can do is I can remove op option explicit so I do not have to define these characters else the better way is to simply define it and now let me close it come back here and hit enter and you can see it res uh, it returns 100 now if I copy it for all these cells you can see I have the number part of from all these uh, strings here using the get numeric function now let me press control F11 sorry alt F11 to go back and now I would create another function which does the same thing but instead of numbers it will extract text so in this case let's make it get text everything is the same but here we'll simply add a small part which is not so if it is a number this will be false if it is not a number then this would be true and everything else remains the same and here we would make it get text and in result I can make it string now let's come back and let's try this function here again I can try type get text this is the only cell reference the only argument it takes and now when I hit enter it gives me the text part from this sentence so if you are not using Excel 2016 and you do not or you do not want to use the text join function because it's a bit complicated and you're more comfortable with VBA then it is a, a quick way to simply use this code to create a function that would extract the numeric part from a text string or the text part from a text string uh, using a VBA custom functions so this is how uh, you can get only the numeric or the text part from a string in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.